We hope by now people understand that regardless of political affiliation or the color of your preferred baseball cap, wearing a mask can prevent the spread of the coronavirus. University of Washington, the folks who run the models that were once touted by the White House as the gold standard, they say universal mask wearing could save over 40,000 lives. It's always been true. It remains true. While 25 states and the District of Columbia have implemented, ma implemented mandates for people to wear masks, some states are moving in the opposite direction. Be seated for this one. The governor of Georgia has taken a novel approach during a pandemic in what some folks first assumed was a misprint. That man, Governor Brian Kemp, has now banned cities and counties in Georgia from implementing such a mandate. Again, he has banned Georgia localities from mandating masks for public health. Correspondent Blaine Alexander is with us from Atlanta, where the mayor, who has the coronavirus, has ordered people to wear masks in public. Blaine, I wish you luck explaining this disconnect. Well, that is exactly what it is, a grand disconnect. You know, Brian, this really intensifies this kind of ongoing battle that we've seen between Governor Kemp and some local leaders here in Georgia that we've seen now for the better part of this pandemic. We just heard from Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms within the past hour or so. I spoke with her office today, and they made it clear that the order, the local order, enforcing masks is remaining in place. In fact, during that news conference, she said that she's not at all concerned about the state possibly suing the city over this. She said... I will put our policies up against any other policies any day of the week. So what you're seeing here, Brian, uh, from those who have already put this in place is defiance. Now, it does bear mentioning that this really stands in line with what Governor Kemp has said all along. He has been very clear that local leaders cannot enforce something, restrictions that are tougher than those that he's put in place statewide. So what he's done with this portion of the executive order is put this in writing now for the first time as it pertains to masks. But you're seeing some very strong responses. Here's a little bit of what the mayor of Savannah had to say about this. Take a look. I have been absolutely flabbergasted uh, by what has occurred here um, in a situation where the state of Florida is the hot spot of the nation and Alabama has mandated masks. Our governor will not only roll it back, but then also try to forbid cities um, in being able to carry out the mask mandates as we have already declared them. Uh, on one end, we're fighting COVID. On the other hand, we're fighting our governor. Uh, our hands should be totally and unequivocally um, working to fight this, this virus. And guys, you're seeing that same type of strong response from leaders in Augusta, from some leaders in athens Clark County, the home of the University of Georgia. Now, guys, it does bear mentioning, certainly, that Governor Kemp has been encouraging mask wearing. That was part of his executive order, saying that people are encouraged to wear masks. When he was greeting President Trump uh, during his trip yesterday to Atlanta, he greeted him wearing a mask when he greeted him on the tarmac. And he's even kind of embarked upon this statewide tour, wearing masks, posting to his social media accounts. But, Nicole, when it comes to enforcing it, when it comes to actually requiring it, he says that that goes a step too far and says that it's not enforceable. Nicole. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.